Alright students, welcome to part two of tonight's Flipping Out with Mr. Derek. Uh, so you, you did the first part, now we're, we're going to move on to the second part, so let's go over our mission objective before we start. So today you will find and identify equivalent fractions using multiplication and division. Say it again with me. I will find and identify equivalent fractions using multiplication and division. All right, so make sure you have that pencil and paper handy, and we're going to go over what equivalent fractions exactly are. So what are they? They're basically just fractions that equal each other. So they're the same. So we talked about how uh, we talked about how improper fractions can be converted to mixed numbers or mixed numbers can be converted to improper fractions. But equivalent fractions are just ways of stating the same fraction. So let's take something really simple like 4 6. All right? Now how do I make 4 6? How do I get an equivalent for a fraction for 4 6 with a different numerator and a different denominator? Well, let's try multiplication. Something really simple. Let's just double it. 4 times 2 equals 8. 6 times 2 equals 12. 8 twelfths is an equivalent fraction to 4 6. So there's one example of an equivalent fraction. Different numerator, different denominator, but it's equivalent. But what if I want to try division? Will division work? Well, you, first you have to look for a number that will divide into both numbers. I see one. How about 2? Two? 2 works again. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 thirds is an equivalent fraction to 4 6. Okay? But then you'll encounter one like this. So let's take a look at this one. How about 8 tenths? All right, let's take a look here. Let's try something like 3. Okay? 8 times 3 equals 24. 10 times 3 equals 30. 8 tenths is equivalent to 24 thirtieths. And the reason why this works is what you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. At least, as long as you have the same number, you will always get an equivalent fraction. But what if I want to go the opposite way? Well, same as before, I look for a factor that can divide into both evenly. I have to think about it. Well, it looks like 2 is going to work again here. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 4 fifths is equivalent to 8 tenths. Those are just a couple of examples because there's so many that could be equivalent. Now let's take one more. Here's 2 fifths. All right. Now, can I make an equivalent fraction using division with this one? Probably not. I don't think so because there is not a factor that goes evenly into 2 and 5 that will work in this one. So I'm going to have to use multiplication. So let's do, let's do something a little different. How about 5? 2 times 5, 5 times 5. Because remember, what I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom. That makes it equivalent. So 2 times 5 equals 10. 5 times 5 equals 25. 10 20 fifths is equivalent to 2 fifths. <clears throat> this is just one example of what I can do. A really super simple way of making an equivalent fraction is just by adding a zero. There's another way of making an equivalent fraction. So tomorrow we're going to talk about that in class. Be prepared to teach somebody else what you learned today. Make sure you bring these papers that you've been working on today, and I'll see you tomorrow in class. Have a great night. Take care.